Hello friends. Today we have with us Sukhpreet ji, Amrit ji and uh, their son. She has recently got a Finland study permit based on her 12th studies and along with that uh, Amrit ji is going on spouse visa and child is also accompanying them. They will be traveling same day, same flight all together as a family to Finland. So as you know it is very rare that on 12th basis if a family can get all the visa together and they can travel together it's a very rare thing and only Finland provides such facility. So in a small conversation with Sukhpreet we'll try to understand that how was her experience in embassy, what were the questions asked to her and to which university in Finland she applied, what was the procedure and so on and so forth so that all of you who are listening and want to go to Finland or any other country on basis of 12th on a spouse visa and along with their kids, they will get the right guidance right from the mouth of Sukhpri. But I can also go with my, along with my family, yes. with my husband and with my, with my son, they will accompany, accompany me there. Uh, moreover, they will go along with me. Uh, and we will be going on the same day, on yes. the same flight. Uh, my last study was Hinius Kendi Studies and I have done it from a Shri Gurjan Dev School that is situated in Tarantaran and uh, I have done in, uh, that in a medical stream. Uh, now I am uh, I'm going for my further studies in a Womak University. It is a very good university. There is nothing to be afraid while going to the embassy. I was very, I was not afraid of anything that I will not get visa. I was very sure that I will get visa if I will apply from Medifin. So Sukhpreet, first of all, many many congratulations. Here is your resident permit card. It is valid till 2026, 31st December. So it's a three and a half year valid resident permit card. Amrit ji, many many congratulations to you. And ye bete ka card, so you can uh, keep this card and this envelope with you. So friends, as you can see, all three of them have got their cards in their hands now and they will be traveling based on this card. and no need to go to Finland and then try for cards. Finnish government is so nice that they give card right here sitting in India itself and not only that they have got a permit now so they are going on an a permit which you know is a, a very advanced class residence permit which allows you to get PR within four years. So they have already got a three and a half year visa and within six months they will get PR on finishing this uh, study. So that is another option which is not there even in Canada, UK, Australia, nowhere you can get PR within six months of studies. So that is the quality of Finland. So now we'll talk to Sukhpreet. So Sukhpreet, if you could tell audience that why did you opt for Finland? What were the you know good things about Finland that you decided to go to Finland? I have opted for the Finland because it is a very beautiful country as well as it is a very secure country. I can have a good studies and international degree from there also. Uh, moreover, I can also go with my along with my family. Yes. With my husband and with my, with my son, they will accompany, accompany me there. Uh, moreover, they will go along with me uh, and we will be going on the same day, on yes. the same flight. Absolutely. So that is a big point of Finland, guys, that you can travel along with your family and you don't have to leave anybody behind. So obviously, that's a, that's a big, big point. So Sukhmit, uh, tell audience a little bit about your academic background. When did you do 12th in India in which subjects and what was the gap? and uh, because everybody is so curious about these things. Uh, my last study was Hinius Kendi Studies and I have done it from a Shri Gurjan Dev School that is situated in Tarantaran. And uh, I have done in, uh, that in a medical stream with a 65, uh, 68 percentage. After that I uh, started uh, working with Apollo Hospital at the position of receptionist. And after that I start, uh, I chose to study in Finland. And that's why I has opted to Adofin to, for that for my further process. Wonderful. So when did you complete your 12th? What was the year? Which year? Uh, it was 2018. 2018? Yes. In medical field, right? In a medical stream. And uh, now... Uh, uh, you are going to which university and in which course please also inform the audience that. Uh, now I am uh, I'm going for my further studies in a Womak University. It is a very good university. Moreover, it is uh, having a very oriented, uh, good orientative teachers who will give me, uh, who will provide me very good education. Uh, moreover, uh, I, I have opted for a Bachelor of Business Administ Administration there in Finland. So friends, if you uh, listen carefully because 
many students have this problem that they have done 12th in medical and they don't find relevant courses in Canada, Australia, UK. It's a big problem. If, if you have done medical, you would know that. So uh, look at the open mindedness of Finnish people that if you have done medical, still they allow you to do bachelor in business and that too at a public university she is going to Vamak which is in Vasa city a public university owned by municipal council and Vasa is one of the safest and cleanest cities in Finland so they have accepted her uh, 2018 medical 65 percent marks in a BBA course so this tells how beautiful country Finland is, how open-minded people of Finland are. They don't you know, really stop you from pursuing your career dreams. So moving on, the next big thing everybody wants to know Sukhbrit is that what happens in embassy because everybody is so afraid, you know, in embassy it will go wrong, they will take grill you for one hour, they will be very strict. So if you could share your experience how it went during embassy. There is nothing to be afraid while going to the embassy because the uh, the, uh, the, ambassador, the ambassadors were there were very polite and calm they have nothing um, they uh, they has not asked any questions which we uh, don't know they have just asked uh, about the dates uh, marriage certificate dates birth certificate of a son and husband about the balance which is uh, in our uh, bank accounts moreover they have asked that why are you going to Mamak university and why have you chosen a finland this type of questions are only asked nothing mm -hmm. else is there to be afraid Okay, so how much time did it take? Uh, I mean, one hour, 30 minutes, 5 minutes, how was it? Uh, the total timing was one hour, uh, but uh, when I was uh, gone, gone to the ambassadors for interview, there I, uh, they took only 20 minutes from me. Uh, they have asked some uh, oral questions and they have also given me some written questions to be, uh, which they have given me just there to write in a two okay. minutes here. And uh, for my husband, they have taken only 15 minutes uh, with the son. Okay. They have asked, uh, asked, asked them the, about the birth date of a son, about the balance, about uh, their birth, uh, marriage, uh, marriage date. And uh, moreover, they have asked them why your, uh, uh, why your wife is going to Finland okay. and in which university she is going to study. Okay, that's it. That's it. Only one or two basic questions. Basic right? questions. Only. Wonderful. So friends, as you can see, Finnish embassy is very friendly very supportive and uh, all the uh, students and spouse always give same feedback to us that there is nothing to be afraid of very basic question so please don't be afraid of the embassy so now we come to the last uh, part of our uh, section where we will ask Preet to kindly discuss her experience of edufin with the audience how did she come to know about Edufin? Then when she came, what was informed to her, whom she met, how was the into preparation and now what is the summary of her experience? So if you could kindly share Sukhpreet. I have known, uh, came to come to know about the Edufin uh, through my one of friend who has gone to France through the okay. Edufin. He has suggested me that I should apply for my further process of filing from the Edufin as they are very good in filing and they, there is nothing to worry that we are not going to get a visa. Uh, that me, uh, I can say that they are very supportive and uh, uh, I can say that I was very I was not afraid of anything that I will not get visa I was very sure that I will get visa if I will apply from Edufin Thank you so much and uh, we wish you all three all the best and big congratulations on your permit and you make a great life in Finland our best wishes Thank you sir